Now, I want to push myself even further to find out what I'm really made of. So I'm testing my skills against the world's toughest survivalists. If I was going to gamble, I'd put the money on myself. Here's hoping I'm the first woman out. A head-to-head -head race and go! across the wild, unforgiving landscapes of China. In a bid to prove to myself that I'm on top of my game. <laughs> it's not about beating my chair. It's about taking my skill set to the next level. This time, I'm taking on former military man and real-life ninja, Hakim Islam. I can run, jump, punch, chop, kick, all that good stuff. But the one thing that I really bring to the table is the ninja aspect. How long have you been a ninja? Uh, I've been studying almost 21 years now. Wow. Yeah. The ninja saw nature as a model, and so if I can understand how I relate to nature, then that's going to give me a, a one-up in this challenge. OK, we're over here. The end is here. 75 kilometers, fellas, 75 kilometers. These marshes, people don't go there. It's too dangerous, and you have to cross it. Starting in the mountains, the most direct route is an energy sapping wade through the treacherous soig marshes. To the north and south of this massive marshland are mountains with resource-rich alpine forests in the foothills. The final barrier is a large shallow lake blockading the exile point at the prayer flags. I'll be standing there. The first person there will be the victor. Mountain weather we know about, clouds and the rain and hypothermia. Are we happy? I wouldn't say happy, mate, but yes. Best ready. of luck. <laughs> Best of luck. Good luck, mate. Fellas, I can't go any further than this. You're on your own from here on. Stand by and go! <laughs> We've naturally taken different directions. Hakim dropped down the left-hand side of the valley. Whoa. I don't want to descend too much, because my strategy is going up and over that mountain doing the distance and the altitude early on. I'm heading to the marshes so that I can come up with a good strategy on how I'm going to attack those things. Ah, oh, this is cold. It is super cold. Uh, every time I step, I sink down. This is really deceptive. It's very ninja, so the marshes <laughs> are more ninja than the ninja. I'm loving that. Oh man, this is going to take hours. As part of my ninja training, there was a thing that my teacher was taught me called the Kuji no Ho. Connecting to an experience that I once had where I was powerful. So that when I feel weak, I'm able to bring that forth. Ah, this is hopeless. Namaku samada basada dan sinda maka roshina so what untara ta come on win pyo to sha kai shin let's go zai zin yo sapat i may have to rethink my strategy a little bit i may have to try to find a way around The ground here is wet and I can hear a little trickle of water. I'm going to follow it up the hill to try and get to the source. Hold on. You can see this is where it comes out of the mountainside, which means it will be properly safe to drink. I just smacked my teeth on the edge of the rock. The most loved implant in the 세계에서도 가장 많은 사랑을 받고 있다는 것을 알고 계십니까? 세계에서 가장 많이 사랑받는 임플란트. <웃음> oh you idiot Stafford. Uh, hydrated but somewhat le less attractive. <웃음> yeah. Bamboo is the ninja's tool. They use this stuff all the time to build all types of amazing things. And this is going to help me survive. My morale is going through the roof right now. 
shelter's done. I have very little light remaining. I gotta get this fire going. I'm gonna do a bamboo fire, so. I think we're ready to give that a shot. It's very important to get this fire tonight. We got wolves around. I smell smoke. I don't see an ember though. I gotta give it my all and see how we can make this fire happen. This is a, a kick in the butt. I'm just gonna have to hunker down tonight. I just couldn't get that fire going. In my ninjutsu training, we have a term they call it shiken haramitsu daiko myo. That means in every moment, there's an opportunity to grow. As a ninja, those are opportunities to fortify your ability to say, no, things are not perfect, but there is a lesson in this moment. I got a fire going. I need to get some warm water inside of me. I'm gonna use a green bamboo as a pot and it's gonna resist the heat longer. That's gonna allow me to get a boil going. As I'm looking for stuff, I came across these uh, thistles. We can put this in our water and then we can make tea. It's gonna help clean me out and keep me fresh. Feel great. I got some warmth in me, got some tea in me. Now it's time to move out. The longer I spend in here, the colder my body temperature is also getting. I'm the first to admit I am not a good swimmer. Okay, we've got to try and do this. Okay, I'm now completely over my deck. <laughs> no. Okay, this is now stupid. I need to go back. I need to go back and prepare myself better for this. This is good. I'm feeling like I'm back in the race, but I need to get some food in me. These pika, man. Let's see if I can catch one. I found uh, two pieces of wood. The ninja had this thing called the shuriken, which were throwing stars. All right, that's a little wide, but that works. I'm also gonna use some cordage to kind of tie these together. All right, that's nice and tight. Oh, I see one right there. Animals recognize the V shapes. V, V. I wanna make sure that I close as many as those Vs down as possible. Yeah! <sighs> There's not a lot there, but it's gonna be good. It's just what I need for boosting morale, boosting calories. Making me salivate. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. That's kind of weird, though. It's a bunch of pika looking at me right now. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I just, I just needed to eat something. I've been turned back by the marshes, which means that I've wasted a lot of energy, which means anything that I can stick in my mouth. This little chap here, there's um, a frog and I can eat him. Obviously frogs are edible. Because everything is so damp and the only bit of proper dry wood I've been able to find so far has been bamboo. I've never done this before, but I have to make a bamboo fire thong. I'll put a toggle on either end of this bit of bamboo. Okay, that's the thong part. These challenges aren't just about winning and chest beating. It's all about self-improvement as far as I'm concerned. I'm just gonna carve a little cone that ember will form in this cone.
working well, really well. I think that's got it. Yes. Happy days. <laughs> I'm gonna eat every little bit of that frog. It's making me salivate. If the French can eat them, so can I. Okay, moment of truth. I'm just gonna uh, pick the legs off first because they're the best bits. Oh, that is good. That is just what I needed. <sighs> you know, you train your body to be strong. <sighs> the lack of oxygen is making my body just hit a wall. Muscles can't <sighs> get what they need to push harder. <sighs> oh yes, it looks like I finally made it. Oh my God. I can see the marshes. Oh. It's the toughest thing I've ever done. But now I can uh, really keep driving on. Just picking up this dung and um, underneath, there's um, this little like maggoty worms. That is food. That is good. Very juicy. I'm thinking using the reeds that are in the marsh and the hide of the yak, I'm going to make two small coracles and they're going to act as little floating platforms on either end of the raft. Even though the reeds here aren't particularly buoyant in themselves, when the hide is stretched over it, it'll essentially act like a rubber ring, which means that it should float above the surface. OK, I'm pretty much there now. It's floating. It is floating. I just need to hope that it Stays buoyant all the way to the other side. It's freezing. My hands are numb. Everything that you can think of in the book under misery, I'm in it right now. Um, I'm not a quitter, you know, but this marsh, uh, you feel like you want to give up or you feel like you want to quit. Definitely, definitely dry land in front of me now, I can see it. Which means that my time on the marsh, at last, is nearing an end. I'm gonna get off. That was scary. And it is so reassuring to have my feet on semi-hard ground again. Just deal, just deal. Well, keep moving. For the first time, I can see the uh, prayer flags on top of the hill and the lake that I need to circumnavigate. I'm going to go to the right-hand side. I don't want to start. I just want to keep going. That's the x bill over there. I can see it. I am low on energy now, but um. The end is in sight. It's just one final push. There's tea and medals. Salad, butter, tinder, vodka, ocean, water. Here he comes. Looks like the finish line. Finish line is right there. I can see the very tip of the fur flags. 50, 60 meters away. <laughs> <laughs> are you feeling? I haven't seen Hakim for the entire journey, so I don't know. Nothing? Nothing at all? No. No. I'm not going to put you out of your misery. You are the first man out. That was a stoic effort. Well, Hakim, he's still out there. As soon as he comes in, I'll congratulate him because, you know, it's a sterling effort just to survive in this environment. <sighs> <laughs> Let's get some uh, coffee inside you. 
Where's that at? Oh, <laughs> man. Sorry. Your eyes are cold. <laughs> you need to get you some warm clothes on. I would definitely come back. I definitely would not come back if you guys said you had a marsh. <laughs> It was just so many different things stacked against me, but I wasn't gonna let it stop me.